welcome to this episode of Montana Haven with Priscilla and I. Mm -hmm. So, Priscilla and I are doing something crazy that we've never done before. Something, well, I'll just tell you, the one, one thing that about our lives is we're always trying new things. Yeah, we are. And we're driving, as you can tell. Um, but it seems like we're never really satisfied with just living our life the norm so yeah. <laughs> we're always wanting to try new things and, and explore and go places and, and, and do things so anyways this weekend we took a little uh priscilla and i left the kids at home with the with the, one of my nieces as a uh just staying with them for overnight we came to the big city of cattle spell about an hour and a half away and spent the night just kind of did some yeah date stuff together here and uh but one of our reasons for coming down here we, we we might not we probably shouldn't do it but we combine sometimes <laughs> we combine date days with other things but uh, I've been wanting to explore this new this new thing that we have not done before and Priscilla you can tell them what I've been thinking for the last couple of years and finally decided to take the plunge okay well he wants to get some honeybees now, my brother Lloyd, as long as I can remember, my, I think he's about 20 years older, 18 or 20 years older than I am. As long as I can remember, he's, well, from a little, from when I was about five, at the earliest memories, he's, he's always had honeybees. And I've always been fascinated, but I never, I just never did it. I don't know why. So anyways, he said, you know, he told me earlier this year, he's been telling me, I've got everything, all the equipment. Uh, just you know get the bees and I'll help you which is awesome that's what brothers do I guess so uh, we're we're coming down here I found some bees it was a process I found some about three and a half hours away uh, my brother-in-law went to pick them up but it was a mix-up he didn't get them so I had whatever it's a long long story but through people other people they they got them closer to us so since we're in Kalispell anyways about an we had to drive an extra hour and we're, we're gonna pick up these bees. So we'll, well, this is a new venture for us. Yeah, and it's fun for me. He always keeps me on my toes with all of his adventures. <laughs> okay, here we are to the place where our bees are at and here they are in this box. And the gentleman that picked them up for us opened them up last night. He had them overnight, gave them some water and uh, they're all in here. Um, I just looked at it a minute ago. I'm just going to crack this box a little bit. Yep, there's one. There's another one. Oh, they're all in there. Probably killed one of them. Anyways, we're excited to take them home. Okay, we made it home and got the bees in this box. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go set them out where uh, I'm going to put the, the hive. And then tomorrow, hopefully in the morning, uh, my brother's going to come up, Lloyd, and we're gonna put them in the hive. So I'm hoping that they're gonna survive. They've had a long trip and uh, hopefully they're gonna be okay. I'll open this up in the morning so then they get out, fly around. Okay, we're gonna put this hive right up here on these rocks. I think what we'll do is we'll set this, this here for now. And then in the morning, we'll get uh, the hive set up right here. Like I said, I'm a real rookie beekeeper. I've watched a lot of videos and read some books and stuff, but other than that, I don't know a whole lot. So we're just gonna, it's a good experiment good thing to do with the family and we'll figure this out as we go figure out the mistakes and not try to do those again and figure out what works Okay, so... Fishing, uh, we should do it and clean it all out of that. Mm -mm. Okay. Close the door, sir. Yeah. Is that the hatch thing? It just hatched on a... Oh my goodness. Okay. 
Ik zie hem daar veel aan. Op de beel is er nog iets. Okay, well, here we've got them all tucked in bed, safe and sound. We got this pallet that we set up here on top of these rocks, and uh, my brother Lloyd helped get this brood box up here. We put them all in here, put the cover on. I blocked the entrance a little bit here so they have a smaller entrance to get in. We put sugar water in here to kind of get them going, and uh, we did see some larvae in there, so hopefully some brood. So hopefully we've got uh, we've got you know, a queen that's viable. But we're probably gonna check in a few days, see if we can find the queen and see new eggs, find any eggs. So here's the box they were in. There's a couple more bees in here. We're gonna leave the box here overnight. Tomorrow, let the other bees, a couple climb out of there and find their way home. So it's pretty exciting to get new bees. We don't, like I said, we don't know a whole lot about it. Looking back in a couple years, we'll probably laugh over what we did, but you gotta start somewhere, right? So that's what we're doing. It'll be a good experience for us and the kiddos. Glorious evening tonight. 